We welcome you to this edition of the Phil Taylor Jones Show. Happy to have you with us and want you to come on along on this adventure into a little bit of happiness and some sadness. And why? Well, because of this democracy that we live in that's supposed to be such a wonderful thing. And on some scores it is, and on some scores it isn't. It can be very greedy, very self-serving, and very selfish when it comes to politics and or politicians. We're going to talk about Decision 16. I'm Phil Taylor Jones, your host, and uh, let's pick this thing apart right now. You know, when uh, this presidential thing started back in the summer, I wasn't exactly sure as to who I was going to follow or subsequently even vote for. And then one afternoon, this very cheerful lady came on a program called Democracy Now. And after speaking, I said, I like this lady. She's, she's, she's very beautiful. She's very friendly looking. She looks like someone that would care for you in a clinch. Her name, Jill Stein. Her occupation, doctor. Ah, doctor. Those are those wonderful people that actually heal you when you're sick. And she is a very renowned and well-known doctor. She didn't like the way the country was being run, the situations that were going on, so she decided to run for president. Now, was she a Democrat? No. She ever Sluglican? No. She's in the Green Party, independent. But you see, in this country, we've got a sort of jacked up, creepy, crappy system by which we do things. It's run by two greedy and self-serving groups, the Resluglicans and the Democrats. If you are of an independent ilk, you get left out in the cold because there are no debates for you. There are no conventions for you. So if you want your message heard, you kind of have to beg off and go to one of these two greedy entities. Well, Jill didn't do that, and she won't do that. She's still running on that green ticket. And now she's the presumptive nominee for her party. Now, you've heard me talk about the bitch, bitchery Clinton, and how I would abhor her being in office. Some people that hear me say that have already accused me of being against women. That's not the case. I would love to see a qualified woman in the White House governing us, moving us on to victory. Would I want to see that creep in there? No, because I know she is nothing. She is, she is three steps lower than pond scum. So no, I don't want her. I look at Jill Stein as a woman of substance, and I would really love to see her in the White House. But then after I heard her announce her candidacy on this show, I never heard from her again. And those are the reasons the independents don't get any play. Well, there has been a regeneration of her candidacy, candidacy I can't even speak because I'm so happy about it. But at the same time, I'm sort of sad because I don't think, unless there is some extreme miracle, that she will get much traction. After Bernie sell out Sanders, sold out all his people, there now is a mad dash to jump over to Jill Stein. And I'm happy about that thing. She's raising money. These supporters that were Sanders are dumping money into her campaign and other money is being dumped in by the grassroots. I'm very happy about that. I would love to see her as president and she will get my support. I don't know if it's going to mean anything. I'm hoping for a, a last minute miracle, but I would love to see Dr. Jill Stein be our next president. She is capable. She doesn't flip flop. She holds on to her principles and I would love to see her fulfill her dream serving our country 
and seeing our country prosper because of this wonderful person being at the helm. So, Dr. Jill Stein, I'm with you. The Phil Taylor Jones Show is with you, and we're hoping that you can pull out a last minute victory in November. Exec, you got anything? Well, uh, same feeling shared as, as usual when I first saw her uh, and the thing she said, how she wanted to have the power in the hands of the people for once instead of in the hands of big government. I fully and totally agree with that. What I don't agree with as far as this democracy goes, by definition, a system of government by the whole population, and I'll emphasize these last four words, it's not the whole definition. All the eligible members of the state. How and why is she not eligible? She is saying that she has applied and ran for presidency, but she was not allowed to be in the debates. You know, she hardly gets any kind of coverage, and just recently only because she had a firestorm started on social media because she was trying to you know, get together with Bernie Sanders and was even willing to step down herself to let him get the limelight if he, she would join with him and he would join with her. And then these people were looking at it to see, you know, why would this person be willing to step down herself in order to give this other person a chance? That person's got some kind of scruples and everything. And the fact that you can't even get recognized officially, even though you are a, a party that's an eligible member of the state, to me, doesn't make any sense. I don't agree with that. It should not be just two parties. It should be independent, Republican, and Democrat. All of them should be applied. If you're running for president, you should be in the media. Nobody should have not ever have heard of her. And that's totally unfair. This is supposed to be a democracy ran by the people. And why are some people getting ignored? You know, I hope she does somehow clinch it and get out there in the public. She's getting a lot of donations, as you told me before when we spoke about her. And I hope she goes all the way through because her philosophy is about the people being in charge of their, how their lives are ran instead of having a big government, big brother run it for you. I'm in full support of and full support of her too. So go Jill Stein 2016. As they say, Jill, not Hill. <laughs> I'm telling you, um, if, if these people weren't so greedy and so selfish, then we the people should have had a choice. There are a lot of people, a lot of the country is teetering now because they're trying to figure out whether they want to vote for the bitch, bitchery, Clinton or Trump. And they don't like either one. And then they're, they're scrambling, you know. If things had played out the right way, then there would have been a third choice. And that would have been the independent party, but the good old boys and the Rusluglicans and, and the Democrats won't see it that way, and they're cheating us out of possibly a good quality candidate. But since I know Jill is back in, you know, she's always been in action, but now it's come more to the forefront, I know exactly who I want as president, and it's Jill Stein. So Jill, not Hill, go Jill Stein 2016. The Phil Taylor Jones Show is right behind you. You're a dynamite lady, and we would love to have you in there as our first female president. And you know what would be cool? Is if we had Ben Carson and two, the two doctors mm -hmm. to go in and heal, heal the, the, the <laughs> United States politi politicians and political arena. Have those two, we would have our first woman president and then we would have our first black vice president because you know who is not black, he appears to be but he's muzzy through and through, and he proves it. And we need to get him out of there. We need to unite our country. Everybody that is a citizen behind our president and pushing ourselves to victory. Go Jill Stein. Thank you for joining the Phil Taylor Jones Show, and we hope you'll join us again soon. Keep the faith and dump the hate and increase the peace. Bye-bye.